Hello, welcome to gpattutor.com. This is Raj speaking on antiviral agents. This chapter has been included in Pharmacology and Medicinal Chemistry Division of gpattutor.com. Viruses are unique organisms. They are the smallest of the self-replicating organisms able to pass through the filters that retain the smallest bacteria. The simplest virus contains small amount of DNA or RNA surrounded by uncomplicated protein coat. Some of the more complex virus have been lipid bilayer membrane surrounds the actual nucleic acid. Virus must replicate in the living cell, which has led many to argue that viruses are not even living systems, but they somehow exist at the interface of living and non-living area. The most basic requirement is for the virus to induce either profound or subtle change in the host cell so that viral genes are replicated and viral proteins are expressed. More than 200 viruses have been identified as a capable of producing disease. Acute virus such as some in the common cold have a rapid and a quick recovery, rapid onset and quick recovery. Chronic viral infections such as immunodeficiency syndrome has recurrent episodes of exasperations and remissions. Coming to the actual outline structure of the vi virus or small particles usually ranging from 20 to 30 nanometers. They are able to produce infections but incapable of reproduce outside the host cell. The free living virus particle is termed as virion can able to infect, can able to produce a pathogenic species and consists of segments of nucleic acid sometimes RNA and sometimes DNA that nucleic acid has been enclosed or protected by means of a protein coat. The protein coat is present in a symmetrical repeating structural arrangement that known as capsid. The viral coat together with the nucleic acid core is collectively known as nuclear capsid that means nucleic acid has been enclosed in a protective protein coating. Some viruses are also have external lipoprotein envelope or coating, sometimes decorated or sometimes uh, characterized by the presence of antigenic glycoproteins or phospholipids they are acquired when they are coming out of the host cell during the replication. Certain virus also contain enzymes. Those enzymes play a vital role in the protein expression as well as in the replication within the host cell. The virus are generally characterized either by DNA virus or by RNA virus depending upon the presence of the nucleic acid. These two broad categories are conventionally subdivided into some six subclasses which are virus they contain singular or double stranded nucleic acid and how this function during the replication. Virus can infect virtually all living systems including a bacteria. Humans are no exceptions and uh, viral infections are very common and uh, endemic. Coming to the broad classification of the virus like DNA and RNA, adenovirus and papillomavirus they have been included in DNA. Similarly for some examples of RNA virus a popular acquired immunodeficiency syndrome virus otherwise known as retroviruses they are RNA virus measles, mumps and respiratory tract infections are also due to this RNA virus. Please go through the structure of virion particle carefully for better understanding. You are following antiviral agent chapter in pharmacology and medicine chemistry division of gpactor.com in sample videos. Coming to the broad classification of antiviral agents, they are divided into two types first non-antiretroviral drugs and antiretroviral drugs. Antiretroviral drugs are also known as anti-HIV agents. 
they are used in the treatment of hepatitis as well as they are also used in the treatment of human immunodeficiency virus infections usually called AIDS non antiretroviral drugs are used in cytomegaloviral infections other lymph like infections and systemic viral infections this slide will give you the comprehensive information about antiviral agents coming to the non antiretroviral first class of the drugs are involving inhibition of the stages of viral replication called imantidin agents interfering with viral nucleic acid replication DNA polymerase, acyclovir, vidarabin, cytarabin, and etc. Agents affecting translation of ribosomes called methysogen. Similarly, HIV protease inhibitors, non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, and nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. They have been included in antiretroviral agent. These drugs are mainly used in the treatment of HIV infection. Mostly, they are used in combination. The combined dosage regimen contains a combination of nucleoside and non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors along with the protease inhibitors. The next class of the drugs are known as immunomodulators. They are called immunoglobulins. Mostly IgG immunoglobulins and IgM immunoglobulins have been introduced into the infected body. Interferons and monoclonal antibodies are also known as antiviral immunomodulants. Some potential new antiviral therapeutic agents including chemokine receptor inhibitors, integrase inhibitors and HIV entry inhibitors. You are following antiviral chapter in pharmacology and the medicine chemistry division of gpatriotry.com. This slide will give you the comprehensive information about various stages involving in viral infection. Starts from attachment to the host cell penetration into the host cell and finally develop into two new virion particles. Please follow this table, please follow this slide for comprehensive idea about the viral infection and stages. And also it will give you the site of action of various antiviral agents. You are following the antiviral agent chapter in sample video of gpactutor.com. For getting more details, please log on to gpatutor.com and get registered. This website is a value-added service providing comprehensive information for the exam graduate pharmacy aptitude test for pharmacy students. gpatutor.com is a site providing comprehensive complete information about the testing material, practice material and other additional information for pharmacy students. Thank you very much.